Hi everyone, this is going to be the tarot forecast for Aries for the month of August 2024. This can apply if you're an Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars as well as North Node. So be sure to check out the other signs in case this reading does not resonate. Also do keep in mind this is a general reading so not all the messages may resonate. So take whatever applies and leave out the rest. If you'd like to book a reading with me, you can definitely drop me a mail on uh, you know, you can drop me a message on Facebook or email. The links are in the description box and I'll get back to you soon. Okay, so let's start your reading, Aries. The first card I'm getting is the Eight of Swords in reverse. The next one is the Two of Wands in reverse. Then the next one is the Six of Pentacles. And the last one is the Six of Cups in reverse. Okay. So Aries, I feel like in the recent past, some of you may have been in a bit of a dilemma or you were stuck in the past is what I would say. There's a lot of nostalgic energy coming through in these cards, a lot of sentimentality. A lot of you may be reminiscing about the past. Could be a romantic relationship, like you could be thinking about a particular person or this could just be um, memories from the past, you know, just things that happened in the past. And I feel like some of you were stuck in that phase in the, till un, up until recently, I would say. And uh, maybe you were in two minds about something because I'm also seeing the two of wands here, but it's in the reverse position. Now, in the upright position, it represents having choices, you know, having possibilities, having options in front of you. It's a lot of optimistic energy with this card. Um, it's knowing that there's always something out there available for you to explore. It's very, this card has very strong exploratory energy. And I feel like because this is, it's also a very optimistic card, like I said, you know, it's wands energy, it's fiery. So there's always a lot of optimism involved. Now, because this is coming up in the reverse position, I feel like some, somehow, some, during this month, some of you may be feeling a little bit, um, like a dampener on your spirit like I feel like some of you may not be feeling like there are too many choices out there or just your spark is dimmed a little bit is what I would say um, but it's not too much I don't I wouldn't worry about it like it's just a little bit of I think it's connected to the six of cups energy I feel like because you are still thinking about the past maybe a particular person I'll do a clarification but I feel like because you're thinking about somebody in the past or still stuck in the past that may be sort of preventing you from moving forward I'm also seeing the eight of swords in the reverse position now the eight of swords in the upright position represents this energy of sort of being trapped in your own mental cage if you will uh, not being able to come out of it feeling like you're caged like your freedom is restricted like you can't really may you like you don't have choices again it's very similar to the two of wands energy but it's different in the sense that the Eight of Swords is really a self-imposed limitation because in the on the card, if the person was to remove their blindfold, they would realize that they can easily untie themselves, like they can easily remove the rope and remove the swords and basically walk out of there. So it's a self-imposed limitation uh, with the Eight of Swords. Now, all, both of these cards, like the Two of Wands and the Eight of Swords, these two are coming up in the reverse position. So this is not your current energy, Aries. This is something that you experienced in the past. Again, even the energy of nostalgia, like the Six of Cups, that's all past energy. I don't see this happening to you in the present. So you're over that phase. I feel like that whole... Um, you know that limbo kind of phase I think you're over that right now I'm seeing the six of cups which is good like this is the energy of balance you've got the scales there so it's, it's definitely about balance it's also about uh, being generous with your time spirit energy whatever have you but it also is a cautionary tale because the six of pentacles is money energy at the end of the day and it also speaks to not over giving uh, and having balance so just make a note of where you're spending too much time energy resources money whatever and see if you can balance it out a little bit because I feel like there is an area of your life where you're over giving for some reason and you need to maybe like cut back on that a little bit and keep things a little bit more balanced is what I would say what else do we have for Aries in the month of August I'm getting the lover's card in reverse. Now, the lover's typically is Gemini energy, but it's also romantic relationship energy, uh, which is, 
healthy it's unlike the devil card which is kind of toxic this is a healthy relationship but i will do some clarifications because there's a lot of mixed messages in this reading now the lovers card to me this could literally have been a gemini person in your life that you've kind of taken a break from i don't see this as a like a permanent ending or anything but i feel like you're taking a break from this person it doesn't have to be a gemini it could just be somebody with strong gemini energy maybe a bunch of planets in gemini uh, or maybe just embodying that archetype, you know, very jovial, very youthful in nature, you know, young at heart, curious, that kind of energy. So maybe this person was a part of your life. And I feel like this is somehow connected to the Six of Cups. Maybe you were thinking about them quite a bit up until recently, but you've decided to move out of it is what I would say. Um, I will do some clarifications because like I said, it's a <laughs> it's a mixed messages kind of reading. What is this? Eight of Swords, first of all. What's this Eight of Swords for Aries? What's this Eight of Swords for Aries? I'm seeing the sun in the reverse position. Yeah, so something definitely dampened your spirit. Um, it kind of made you lose your spark a little bit, Aries. And that's very unlike you because, you know, you're a fire sign. You're ruled by Mars. You're the first cardinal sign in the zodiac. You're all about enthusiasm, getting things started. Let's get this party started, right? Like, you know, that's your energy. And you don't like to be stuck in a limbo. You don't like to be in sort of like a quote-unquote funk. And so this is... Uh, it's kind of depressing energy, but you're out of that because the sun is also in reverse. I don't think this is your energy right now. This may have been you in the past. What is this um, six of pentacles for Aries? What about the six of pentacles? What does Aries need to know about that? Anything like a caution or message for Aries? Okay, we have the queen of swords in reverse. Okay, so just be a little bit careful about... Um, sort of over pleasing if you will because the queen of swords is in the upright position is very very sure of what they want they don't mince their words they have certain standards and if somebody doesn't meet that you know they can basically go away from their life you know so and because this is coming up in the reverse position and it's kind of connected to the six of pentacles, I feel like, maybe, like I said earlier, maybe you're over giving in an area of your life. Maybe you're giving too much of your time, energy or something that maybe needs to downsize a little bit or you maybe need to like cut back on it a little bit. Because I feel like in the process of doing that, you're compromising on what you value in your life or maybe you're not getting enough time for yourself. It's kind of compromising your own values for some reason. That's the message that I'm getting. And so that's not very healthy for you, Aries. So I would just make a note of where you're kind of overgiving or oversharing because you are a very generous sign. Like, you know, you may be impulsive and all of that, but you don't hold grudges. You're very giving. You have very childlike energy. So you don't have any malice in your heart. And people can take advantage of that, Aries. I'm not going to lie. People can take advantage of that because they see that whole lively, youthful vibe about you. And they feel like, okay, you know, they may be able to take advantage of you, but of you, but you need to be very careful in terms of who you're spending your time with, how much energy you're giving to other people. It could literally be money as well, because this is pentacles, like six of pentacles is money energy. So just make a note of that. See where you're giving too much of something to somebody. What is this six of cups and lovers energy in reverse? What is this for Aries? Wow, we have the tower card in reverse. Any other clarification? We have the moon. Okay, so you both of you may have taken a break from each other. Like I said, this could have been a Gemini person or just somebody with strong Gemini energy. I'm definitely seeing like a romantic relationship here. That's the theme I'm getting here. So maybe you were in a relationship with someone like that and you decided to take a break. Because I'm seeing the tower card and that happened in the recent past. Maybe you took a break from each other. Now, does is it mean that you guys are like officially breaking up? I don't think so because I feel like you, you may be wanting to get back with each other for some reason because tower is coming up in the reverse position and I'm also seeing the moon. The moon card is about being in a dilemma, a bit of a confusion. 
should I do this? Should I do that? You know, because your heart says something, your mind says something else. There's a lot of confusion in your mind as to whether you want to get back with this person or not. Maybe they're feeling the same too. And both of you may be wanting to reach out to each other, but something is holding you back. So um, what is the guidance here? Because it's one thing to keep thinking about the past and wondering if you want to get back together. But what's the message here? For Aries, what does Aries need to focus on and just the overall energy in general? What does Aries need to know? Okay, I'm getting the King of Cups in reverse. Now, King of Cups in the upright position is somebody who is very in tune with their own emotional energy. They're very intuitive as well. Like the King of Cups is Scorpio energy, right? And this is somebody who is very confident, first of all, and they're also very connected to their own emotional selves. Now, I feel like that's somehow missing right now with you, Aries. I feel like you're kind of out of touch with your intuition. And I'm also seeing the moon card coming up here, which also, again, speaks to that same energy, like not being sure of what you want. So be very, like, first thing I would recommend is get very clear about what it is that you want right now. What do you want to focus on in your life right now at this moment in time? And then decide if you want to still get back with this person or not. Do they add value to whatever you want in your life right now? If the answer is no, like, you know, it's like they were nice, but I don't think they kind of fit my life right now. Then I don't think you should get back with this person. But if you feel like they're ready to improve and because obviously you guys broke up for a reason. I mean, it's not without reason that people break up just like that. So think about it and then make your decision. I'll drop a couple of charms here because I just want to... Uh, that's something new I've started doing with these readings. I just want to drop a charm and see what other messages do we have right now. What do we have for Aries? Okay, I'm seeing the Eiffel Tower quite literally. So maybe travel is on the cards for you, Aries. Quite literally, could be somewhere in Europe, maybe France, you know. Uh, but yeah, I feel like you should definitely... I think like travel may open up your mind a little bit and sort of take you out of the zone that you're at in right now because I feel like it's even though you're not actively thinking about this person I feel like your mind still goes there every now and then and maybe that's kind of detracting you from your goals or <clears throat> other things in your life you know so don't put too much energy or focus on this I think that you need to start, sort of distract your mind a little bit and travel is the best way to do it but I understand not everybody has the means or the ability or the time to travel whenever they want to. So you, it doesn't even have to be long distance travel. You could even just, uh, it could even be like a staycation, Aries. Like, you know, the, the idea is to just get away from whatever it is right now that's happening in your life. Take a break. Take a break is what I would say. That's what I have for you, Aries. And if you like this reading, give it a thumbs up. Your likes help my videos stay relevant in the YouTube algorithm. It also motivates me to keep delivering on content for you, my lovely subscribers. If you'd like to book a reading, drop me a message on Facebook or email. The links are in the description box. And I'll see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.